Now, I'm a devout Catholic, so don't, some of you don't misunderstand my comments here. So I left the doctor's office that day feeling great. You know, I knew what my problem was. He gave me medication, and I still have seizures to this day, but basically they're controlled, and I don't have that many. But I felt great that because I knew what my problem was. I called my parents, and my parents said, no son of ours has epilepsy. For 27 years, we did not have a, a relation. Um, they were embarrassed that I talked publicly about my epilepsy. When my mother died, I decided that when we were burying her, that I couldn't love her and respect her, that it had to be one or the other. I decided that she loved me and that she was just misinformed and miseducated, but I didn't respect her. And on, on that very moment, I had a grand mal seizure. The impact that their rejection of my seizures had on me all the way through my life it was tremendous. I didn't let it stop me, though, from doing what I thought was important. When I ran for Congress, my opponent, because I was public, my opponent decided that when he knew he was going to get defeated, he decided to use it against me. And in a very small community in, in my congressional district, one night at dinner said that uh, Tony's a very sick man. What would you think if he went to the White House to argue a critical issue for us, such as water, which is a big issue in all over the state, but in Central California, a bigger issue. Uh, if he went to the White House to argue a very critical issue, such as water, and had a seizure. The people at that dinner were very upset. I got calls. A newspaper reporter called me the next day and said, your opponent said X last night. What's your reaction? I think God was with me that, that very moment, and my reaction was very quick. And I said, well, I was a staffer at that point in Washington, I said, for the, um, uh, wait a minute, I'm sorry, uh, that, uh, so my response was quick, and I said, uh, I've known a lot of people who've gone to the White House and had fits, at least I'd have an excuse. Um, nobody, Nobody's ever used my epilepsy against me again. I decided to uh, write the ADA because of the discrimination that was going on for all of us with disabilities, not just epilepsy. It is now the law of the land in 52 different countries. Uh, and that was, and that was a direct result, a direct result of my epilepsy. And so I stand before you today and say, I thank God uh, for my epilepsy. Um, it's made me a stronger person, a better person. And a little antidote is that when I was in the Congress, I got to make a trip to the Vatican, and I met with a pope, a small group of us, met with a pope, and I gave my prepared speech to him that had to be pre-approved. But once I had the podium, and I was given my comments. There were about 15 of us in the room. And I had the podium. I got through with it, and I said, Your Holiness, I could not live with myself if I didn't take advantage of this opportunity. As a young man, I decided I wanted to become a Catholic priest. And because of an accident, I developed epilepsy. And canon law in, in 400 AD says that if you have epilepsy or possessed by the devil, you can't be a priest. I think that's very unchristian of our church, and I would hope you'd look into it. Well, when the, the session was over, we took all our pictures and all that stuff that you do, and when we walked out of the room, he blessed my, my wife, and he turned to me, didn't bless me, 
Um, and he said, young man, I heard your comments. And he walked out. I didn't know if that meant he was mad or whatever. But two years later, canon law was changed to permit people with epilepsy to become priests. <laughs> now, now, I'm not taking credit, like my good friend Al Gore would take credit in a lot of different things. <laughs> I'm, not, <laughs> I'm not taking credit for making that change. All I'm saying that is that I did, did make the comment and the change was made. And the reason I bring that up to you is that I say that because of my epilepsy, I speak up and I speak out. I talk about it and I educate. I'm not afraid to be who I am. And the fact that you're here tonight and that you're contributing and helping, you're helping those of us in the movement to speak up and speak out and to try to make a difference. And I love you for that. Thank you very, very much. <laughs>